Am I the asshole? For using flashcards to explain to my brother and his wife why they can't bring their rainbow baby to my wedding? My fiancé F and I am are getting married. We've decided wedding's gonna be child-free. No hate towards children just to keep it more organized and contained. My brother Chris M and his wife F have a 3 iro son who everyone calls Miracle or Rainbow Baby. He came after several failed pregnancies that lasted for years. When they found out that my nephew was included in the no children rule they tried to convince me to make an exception for him. Chris told me his son is a miracle baby and his presence at the wedding will bring blessings for me and my fiancé. I refused and said no, the wedding is child free. His wife kept sending my fiancé pics of my nephew when he was months old what that mean? I told them no, and to stop. My brother told me this might cause a rift in our relationship, I again said no and explained that the wedding is child free. He asked again and pointed out how his baby is different since he's a rainbow, a miracle baby. I again said no and explained that the wedding is child free. They brought it up when they visited at my home and I knew they weren't going to stop so I'd made flashcards in advance with the phrase the wedding is child free, period and pulled them out and started slowly showing them the flashcards one by one in this order. The wedding with a sticker of bride and groom. Is child with a sticker of a baby. Free with a sticker of a sign. Period with a huge, black dot sticker. They both were stunned. I asked if they get it now and Chris had lost his shit. His wife had already grabbed her stuff and walked out. Chris called me an asshole for doing this and said that I disrespected him, his wife and their son who's my one and only nephew. He rushed out after we argued. My fiancé saw the whole thing and thought that it was funny but my parents and Chris are livid beyond measure. They're telling everyone about the amount of disrespect and mockery I had displayed towards them and I'm being told to fix it now. Not the asshole. Sounds like you already fixed it. They won't be at the wedding. Good on you. I'm so tired of people saying, but it's my miracle baby every baby is a miracle, and theirs isn't special. The rest of your family are Oz for enabling this ridiculous obsession with a baby. Should have told them that all babies are miracles, but that you were having a miracle free wedding. They are raising that kid to think he's God's gift to earth. He's gonna be so narcissistic as an adult. They gonna bring the child to the wedding. Well, I suppose you could have used hand puppets instead, but flashcards seem to have gotten the message across. It makes me insane how some parents think their little bundle of joy should be allowed anywhere, anywhen, anytime and that no never applies to them. It's pretty clear they were going to run this horse right up to the altar. Not the asshole. Not the asshole that is goddamn hilarious. They kept pushing the boundary and you held it firm in probably the funniest way possible. Not the asshole and this kid is fucked. The parents are going to spoil the shit out of him, make excuses for any bad behavior, give him priority in every situation, make life hell for his teachers, etc. He's going to grow up thinking he's better than everyone else and is going to have an absolutely brutal adulthood once he realizes his friends and co-workers don't give a flying fuck that his parents had trouble getting pregnant. Not the asshole. I'll fix it for you. Your brother, his wife and the second Jesus are now uninvited. Not the asshole, and sorry, but that's funny. I'm sure they are very proud of their child, but should absolutely not be invited. Very entitled to argue when you said no. Send your parents a single index card that says, no. Not the asshole. They asked for an exception, were given an answer they disliked, and then refused to accept that until you took drastic measures. Maybe if they accepted no, they wouldn't have been humiliated. Not the asshole. My go-to would usually be interpretive dance, but for this I might go full mime. Still, your flashcards sound funnier. Go you also good luck for the wedding. ETA the demand to fix it now seems to be asking for more of the same. A lot more. You know what to do. Not the asshole. I went through infertility. I have a rainbow baby. Not the asshole. Also that kid is going to be spoiled to hell and back. But he's a miracle still a baby. Denied. Since when did rambunctious toddler behavior get classified as blessings? Not the asshole. Your wedding and your rules. I love the use of flashcards conveys the message which they were trying to ignore. Not the asshole. Not the asshole three years old isn't a baby so there should be no issues with leaving him or anything so they're throwing a tantrum over pure entitlement over who they want to attend. Not their wedding so not their choice. Not the asshole at all. Child free means child free. They kept pushing back on your rule repeatedly if you'd started with flashcards that'd be different, but talking alone didn't work. 
not the asshole. They refuse to accept no for an answer. What else could you do but spell it out for them? Unless being a miracle baby makes them not cry, be noisy and disruptive or get bored, your nephew isn't any different from other children. Was it a little over the top? Yes. Could you have simply said something like I'm sorry you won't be able to make it to the wedding? Sure. But they weren't listening. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and at least the flashcards seemed to work lol. Not the asshole. A hilarious solution I think. They didn't accept your answer to their other 100 times of asking, they clearly weren't getting the message. If it's child free it's child free, rainbow or not that is still a child. Arrange child care or don't come. This is a beautifully, hilariously clever approach for family who won't take no for an answer. Not the asshole and it doesn't matter, but has your brother been to a child-free wedding? Did they have a child-free wedding irony? Are your sill parents available to watch the baby for a while on the wedding day? Regardless of their child care challenges, you are well within your hosting rights. You just have to live with your decision. Not the asshole, they're going to show up with the kid. Uninvite them now. Not the asshole that's hilarious. Child free me and child free. Not the asshole. And, assuming you have texts of this, when someone in the family brings this up just send them a copy of it and that Chris and his wife were harassing you. And uninvite them from the wedding since they made this far bigger than it should have ever been. They prioritize their miracle baby over your wedding. I have friends who have two sets of miracles kids. Twins and another. If something is child free, they get a sitter. Not the asshole. And I think I love you. But for real, if they wanted to be treated like adults they should have taken your no the first few times you gave it. Not the asshole you should have told them or I would have and if it's baby Jesus himself, he s not invited. Not the asshole, that's hilarious, and great job sticking to boundaries. Not the asshole. Also can we please get a flash card tax? These sound amazing. Not the asshole but I hope you have a backup plan when they show up with their miracle baby anyways. Children cannot go everywhere and all should be precious to their parents. Maternal grandparents or relatives can't babysit a three-year-old? What happens when he goes to school? Oh wait, I'm a teacher, I can tell you. Tears for weeks and spoiled defiant outbursts I've seen it and we help these kids get past it. But it's hard for the kids since the parents are coddling not parenting. Not the asshole, Lamau. They're the disrespectful ones. Their baby isn't little baby Jesus FFS, no one is praying to their baby. Not the asshole. His son is different because he's a miracle baby? Give me a break. People have no idea how many rainbow babies are out there that they don't know about. My one and only child a three-year-old boy, like Hop's nephew is the result of my fourth pregnancy. Nobody besides the person I made the pregnancies with and my doctor know this. Plenty of people keep info like this to themselves. It's why people often wait till after the first trimester to announce, because they want to keep it to themselves if there's a miscarriage. Not the asshole. But I'm not so much concerned about your wedding, but more about how this kind of attitude will impact your nephew's life. Being treated like a miracle all the time will give him a completely wrong idea because his parents expect the whole universe to worship him. Not the asshole. Your wedding your rule. And child-free wedding is perfectly normal. And well everybody's child is special and miracle to their own parents, not so much for others your brother's child is not that, different tbh. Not the asshole the only disrespect here is coming from Chris and his wife, and unfortunately your parents. They are pretending to be victims in order to try to bully you into giving them their way. Don't fall for it. Not the asshole. I am happy that they have a healthy child, but this makes me wonder if this boy is going to spoiled. I guarantee the parents are going to constantly tell him that because he is a rainbow, baby, a miracle, baby, he is going to grow up feeling entitled. Not the asshole and they are absolutely going to bring the child to the wedding, when they do, do not capitulate, and kick them out. Not the asshole. But you do realize that your brother and his wife are going to show up to your wedding with their miracle, right? Not the asshole. They can't take no for an answer lol. Not the asshole you said no a million times, and they refused to listen, so you put it to them in a way they obviously couldn't miss. Well, you tried saying no several times over, politely. That didn't get the message across, but sounds like the cards did the trick. I don't know how many times people need to be told, not your wedding, not your rules. Not the asshole. What morons. The world totally revolves around their son. Ta.
and to fix it by withdrawing their invitation. It's not hard to get a sitter for one night. If they hadn't disrespected you over and over by insisting that they get an exception this wouldn't have happened. Not the asshole.